All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How all my adventurers doing? Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. We're back where we last stopped. Uh, level fifty nine. Um, so uh, I just looked up the enemies that drop my next sprites. I need to farm. They're good sprites because. One of them gives bow and archer. It's higher on um, on the same sprite, and another one gives both axe and sword on one sprite. So I have two sprites I need to farm for, and they're inside of this these two areas. <laughs> so that's gonna be a fun little farming section of a video that I'm going to have to do to order to get my sprite once we get over there. As of right now, we're not on that. I also realized that our job change is at level 65. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was at level 60. Got that one. Is there another one here? Over here, apparently. Is that all the quests? No, there's one that makes the guy's tree. Dang, this place has a lot of them. I guess, as usual, we'll do the one and done ones. Okay, those are repeats. So let's go ahead and turn off all the chain quests and do the one and dones. Which ones are closer? That's far away. Uh, these are closer. So I guess we'll start with the bottom, bottom ones. Unless this one's gonna lead us to close something close. So probably up in here, maybe. Okay, now nah, we're just gonna keep moving that way. Okay, let's do these first. Then we'll go to those. We're after the worms, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot we can't do that while we're on mounts. Okay, fine. My bad. Is that the, all the worms? Hello? Oh, there's some. It's either between getting my level 56 sprite or waiting until I'm level 71. So I might have to skip a dungeon if I'm gonna farm for my level 71 sprite. Oh wait, hello? Did you not pick that up? Oh you bastard. I put on I got on the mound and then he disappeared. So now I gotta go over there. That's the hardest decision, or either that is between that or my level 66 sprite. And my level 66 sprite is a lot more jumbled. Because there is a sprite with um, bow, but it also has mage attire on it. I don't get why it has mage and bow gear mixed together, but you know, eh, apparently that's a fucking thing. <laughs> Do 
So not quite happy about that. That's the thing you can do. You can right click, get a shot off first. Then there you go, two shot. That looks like a one shot. Okay, so now we're gonna go seal the crystal. Um, Archer Tire has shield. And sword is on an altar, actually. Huh. How much? Ooh. Well, it's a thousand reputation, so I don't think that's going to be really all that bad. Except for there's another way I can get a, um, just a bow, uh, sprite. But that is under the annoying uh, dark sprites. And those dark sprite NPCs are time gated. Which, like I said, isn't fun to deal with at all. Actually becomes quite a nuisance. Especially when you... Here's the thing. That becomes a nuisance when um things become time gated like that oh i'm close to an npc apparently oh it's you motherfucker why didn't you do this if you wanted it oh i guess you need the crystal that's fair i guess but it becomes a nuisance because if, let's say for an example, if I max out Dark Sprite reputation on a different character, then I come to this their character, you know, and I have to remax that again, which Dark Sprite and Sprite Messenger are probably the most tedious things to bring up. Oh, I'm at their grizzly bears. Just because of how much time they take. Out of the, all the other fame. Yeah, it's in drop one. Oh, there it is. Guess I can go grab this too. But with it being so tedious, man, is it's just like. <sighs> At this point, I have to save up so many of those sprite emblems on my main character and bring them over to a secondary character for those current, you know, for those current sprites to be useful. Because once I out level those dark sprites, like instruments, is just like there's no point in getting them at that point. They're basically useless. So everything comes back down to just transferring things over to another character. And we don't have shared mailboxes. Which sucks, dude. Shared mailboxes or shared banks would be amazing to have. Like, dear God, please. One day let that be a freaking thing. That would be incredible fucking bull, and I'm pretty sure every person would love you for it because we're tired of just bringing different shit over to different characters, like like through mailbox. Like, there's a plant over here somewhere. Which dungeon is this? Somewhere around level 80. <laughs> Either that or there's that's their uh secondary character that buffs them before they go in. Wait a minute, is this is this a priest? Yeah, prophet. That's a buff character for somebody. 
That one's just sitting there. Most people make a second account with a uh, with a cleric, and the reason they make that cleric is just because cleric gives ten minute buffs. Druids do not, sadly. If I was a druid and I can give you guys ten minute buffs towards like defense or something, I would. We used to have a one minute buff. But then the devs said, well, I don't think we could give you guys Gorilla Guard, actually. I take that back. I don't think we could give you guys Gorilla Guard. We, no, we didn't have anything, like, long-term except for, like, um, damage reflection. That's the only thing we could actually give you. And that was it. And even that was... That wasn't for too long. Damage reflection doesn't last long for us anyway. Anymore. Druid has the shortest buffs in the game, to be honest, in my opinion. From well, from each character I've looked at. Like a lot of our buffs are like four to five seconds. So we have to play a lot more timed base and our cooldowns are probably like a minute now. Which doesn't feel good to us. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty strong skills, but they don't really last long for it to actually feel efficient because of animations. Because as soon as you cast it, you can't go into anything else. Because by the time you're done casting it... Well, let's say if you're if you're soloing, it's definitely not useful for you. Because by the time we like cast something, if we transform back, that buff is already gone. Just because we wasted time transforming back. So it's useless for us to do it in solo. Now if we were doing it with like a duo person, it would be a lot easier. So in my personal opinion, Druid is still good in solo. Just buff wise, it just... You're ever going to see a need to buff yourself. <laughs> Just because you'll you'll see how useless it is unless you're playing in human form. If you're playing in human form, it's a lot more easier for you to buff. I will say that. But considering we can't buff or use any of our skills inside of um inside of our other forms, it is basically useless to use buffs most of the time. For solo play, let me just make that clear. For a solo play, it is mostly useless. Unless you're in human form. Okay, so now we gotta go kill the birds. Send the birds to the Shadow Rim. Okay, so by the time we... Well, huh. I will say, by the time we touch this island, we should be level 65, right? I feel like we should be level 65 by then. What's that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm looking for guardians, not scouts. Guardians are the blue nose ones, or blue beaks. They're all the way over here. Wait, the game just reset? Is this one I already got? To bring it on. Oh, I guess it did reset earlier. I think. I 
I was about to say hi. That one didn't drop it, so you had to pay the price for him not dropping the item I needed. Okay. Next drop here. Well, and you. Oh, no, you. The red ones. God, trying to time that animation and a skill at the same time is annoying. I think it only works with speed bows. Well, I don't know. Because you have to wait your full attacks, your full normal attack, before you can actually push in a skill. So this, you guys hear me spamming three? Yeah, you have to wait for that full animation to go through. It's always annoying. Okay, we gotta go up here now. Stone Sword Serpents. Oh yeah, there's a sword over here. Forgot about that. Is gonna be the gray ones, not the key pros. Oh, wrong way. I about to say, Bagel, what are you fighting over there to where I can't get on my mount? Okay, that one didn't drop a blue bag. But there is a thing you can do. Is that if there is a... There are some skills to where you can push... Like push together at the same time. To where one skill will come out and cancel the other animation. So if I go to a three and... Well, I was going to say three and four. But I was like, wait a minute. Does it four overtake it since it's a charge ability? So three... No? Huh. It's weird because it works on Druid a lot. But then again, that was before rework Druid. Because Gorilla Form could actually like take over certain animations. Ah, well shit. Maybe I'm, maybe like I said, I'm just spoiled by Druid <laughs> and the amount of tech that I've learned from it. Okay, that one didn't drop my quest either. You, drop my quest now. Do as I say. Oh, you little shit. Are you going to deny me my quest now? I just need one more, jerks. Hand over thou quest. Or face thou wrath. There, thank you. You're in the way.
All right, let's go turn in these quests. The only reason I don't want to like, I don't want to get like a very high sprite just because if I have to get rid of it, it's going to tank my freaking, um, it's going to tank the hell out of my, uh, messenger sprite reputation. So I won't be able to get rid of them for like a very long time. Angelo, isn't he inside of uh, Sprite Forest, right? I remember that one. Yeah, Ancient Forest, actually. I remember him because I actually remembered the area around him. Damn it, Bagel. Stop attacking everything you see. I wish I could set you to passive or defensive. Like any other game, but you know, eh. Or set you to aggressive. Just to attack everything you see. That way my pet can play lead. Because imagine your pet just going after every enemy. And you're just backing them up. But then again, like I said, most pets can't hold aggro. Unless some pet out there has ag has taunt. Which, from what I've seen, taunt is not a thing. Just... Malice increase, but somehow you can you can outscale that malice, so it makes no sense. <laughs> I think, well, maybe um, maybe Necromancer's um, flesh golem has um, has taunt. Then again, I don't think it does, because I think I looked at it. Maybe higher level. When it evolves, it has it, actually. That could also be a thing. Because I also got to think about skills evolve and the minions actually do get new skills. Too bad I can't look at those skills uh, in here. Because I would love to see what you get. Because then you turn into Leopard King. Then I think you get new skills out of that. Then you turn into a uh, evolve form of that. And I don't know what skills you learn after that either. Which makes me curious. Holy shit. Am I around the level that I need to farm tomes? What level is tomes? Oh, Tome is level 60. Oh, okay. I, I don't have to do that until class change. I was about to say, wait a minute. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Let's There's two skills that are pretty meh for my tomes. Hello? Okay, I was about to say, why is it not showing up the quest? Uh, one of my tomes gives me a skill that is a passive that gives me plus 25 agility. Well, actually, this probably changed by now. This is probably something totally different. Hold on. Oh, there's an event right here. What the fuck? I didn't even realize that. Um, sharpshooter. It is this. 
I believe. Yeah, instinctive dodge. It still gives me the 25 agility. No, it gives 25 evasion now. And attack speed increased by 10% and movement speed by 5%. It gives me tired so, uh, for 10 seconds. So it's a 10 second cooldown. So once those three seconds are over, I get a cooldown of 10 seconds and it gives me 10 seconds of negative 12 to my evasion. Okay. All right. So the next skill is for my tome is... Is Willow. Where is Willow? Willow is a level 69 ability. Oh, here it is. Willow. So for Willow, uh, range attack increase, so it's a damage increase, further range. That's okay, so I can use this 12 meters away and also get a physical damage. We'll remove while. Wow. This is a charge ability. This is a charge ability. Okay. Well, shit. I don't care about this event. Why? Can you not? Mate. Can you fuck off, mate? I'll have to choose a reward. Hold on. Oh my god, game. Really? Are you gonna freeze up right now? Thank you, you dick. <laughs> Jeez. Bro, really tried to... Oh, my God. There's another one. Okay. Then I have to go to you. And now these other missions are coming into effect. Holy crap. There is a lot of quests over here. Over here. Then I have to go back to Kazlau. Turn that quest in. Make sure I'm not missing any other quests. Yeah, I'm good on that. Um, I have every other quest. Uh, how close am I in to the portal? I guess I'll go do it now just to see what the hell he wants. Oh. Oh, this just gave me, um, ancient. So I can technically go do that right now. But I'm going to do that after I finish, um, Gaia. Oh, you're probably going to give me a quest to take out, um, yeah, Trickster. Trickster is inside of Ancient. Oh, I remember this place. This is the this is the dungeon that has the ants that stun people. Oh, that's that's gonna be so much fun. Oh, okay. Fuck, I didn't did not think it was that. Also, why is this in Grassland? That's what you're gonna give me for this is gold. And little gold at that. Okay, so now we're gonna go to ancient. 
Negative 12 silver. <laughs> I should really change that title because um, yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all the defense I can I can get, especially when getting hit. I might have to take the evasion one percent. Yeah, that or evasion hit chance actually. Because that, that strips me a lot of defense. But I can tell you now, every bit of defense counts. <laughs> That's for freaking sure. Thing is, I have five more levels and I could reincarnate. I'm not sure if I want to reincarnate yet, though. Because there's really no significant stat buffs, though. Hmm. If I got my yellow bow, maybe I would reincarnate, but I don't have that now. I think I would rather finish all of my bows before I reincarnate, just to make it easier on myself. It would make more sense to do that. All of my bows up until like level 80. Either that, I think there's a level 90 um, bow, or is there only level 80 bows? No, there is a level 90 bow. It's, it's, um, Dazzle Hollow. I have never been there. Well, shit, if I can get there, I can farm that because that is actually good because it's level 92 bow crafting. Oh, there's another one inside of inside of a uh, glaze frost mountains as well. But is there a gear one? Uh, OK. 84. Nope, that's for dark sprites. We're going to skip that. Damn. Hold on. There could probably not be one. Ew. Oh. Hold on a second. I could be fucked. I think the highest one is... For Archer... Like, gear-wise, is 83. Ew. Oh, no. Um. Yikes. Ah. Uh, ha, ha. Hold on, let me check and see if that's right. That is actually right. Oh wait, no, there's an 87. Oh, thank God. I was about to I was about to cry. I was like, no, dude. <laughs> My level 90 gear, please. <laughs> That's all I need. It's like I don't really need level 100 gear right away, but level 90 is an issue once you cut me off there. That's actually something I can't afford to get cut off by. My level 87 uh, Archer Gear Sprite is in Port Riptide. 
So that won't be too much of an issue. Except for the drop rate is going to be terrible. I'm going to tell you guys now, all the Sprite instruments drop rate are really bad. Like their drop rate is abysmal. I'm sure these guys probably have a sprite, right? Yep. They have this sprite. And you guys have been seeing us fight them all day. Yeah, good good fucking luck, mate. That's all I can tell you. Wait a minute, they have the art of defense? Oh, okay. Well then, that's something I need. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> I just realized that is something I actually need. I guess we'll do this one next. Here you go. All right. Um, what do you have? Wow, that's that's so amazing. Thank you. Whatever could I do with, without the items you just gave me? All of this sh great items you just gave me were fantastic. I love you for that. Thank you. Which ones are closer to me? We'll just do them all the way there. So, this one's closer. With the bears. Alright, bears first. Stop putting this useless shit... Well, useless for me right now. Stuff in my inventory. You guys see how I kept a PG there? I'm learning. Aren't I... Aren't I getting better... <laughs> Give it this. Bring this back up again. I say it doesn't make it any better that people were selling my instruments, instrument sprites for like level 71 for like, um, how much was it? like 300 to 500 right now so I feel like I would rather go farm it if anything it really depends on if I have that much but then again I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be gone by that time too if they are it's fine because we'll just make a farming video and I'll put a time stamp of how long it took me to get it. Won't that be amazing? I'm almost out of arrows, I just realized. That's not fun. And these farms won't be easy. I know that much. Especially when it comes to get these uh, level 80... 81? Yeah, level 81 sprites. Please don't get a bad event. I was about to say, because I need you to go and get me arrows. Okay, we're done with the bears, with the snakes. Okay, the soldiers. Well, no, the time mushrooms over here. I don't know where I got soldiers from. I think I missed red wood sprite. 
Maybe I have dyslexia now. Is that something you can just randomly develop? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Uh, make me one more. One more batch. Don't complain to me. Do your job. Ah, this barrier. Too strong. Yeah, damn. Yo, these these boundaries are fucking insane. <laughs> Like these invisible walls, dude. I don't think I've ever seen a game that has like this big of walls, but then again, like I said, I've never quested inside of most of these areas because I just went straight to dungeons. But now that I'm ex actually experiencing these barriers, Jesus Christ. Look at how much, <laughs> how much space that is. Holy shit. That kind of does make me make me votive, motivated to actually fix every last barrier in my game. Like, holy shit. I'm going over here now. Uh, great job, I guess. But the bow sprite is only if, well, I'm actually getting, I'm actually 10 levels behind on this sprite now. Even though I maxed it out. <laughs> so this is normally where people start dropping their main sprite just because of this issue. To where if you start catching up to that sprite. Then you out level it by a significant amount. Then it's just kind of like, what's the point of having this sprite anymore? Because it took so long to just to get up here. And by the time you're at this level, like, the issue with that is that level 64 one sprite start showing their faces and end up in the auction house you know that or you end up getting them if you just go out and farm them so guardian sprites get tossed off to the side like pretty damn often the only other thing you would use the uh, sprites for is Okay, you freaking failure. Just gonna you just gonna fell on me and lose all the stamina? Okay, fair enough. But anywho, they're useful for like Sprites are normally just useful for like things like this. I mean this this gives like extremely good rewards, but you would have to max the hell out of these stats. If I remember correctly, they're through costumes, right? I think costumes give more. I don't know, actually. I don't remember how uh, this worked. Because I never really touched it. I'm sure there's a tutorial on it, too. That's the sad part. But it costs gold to play this. Because <laughs> you gotta go to the... Um, 
to the red coconut island over here and buy some red coconut coins in order to go inside of these and gamble. It's basically a whole gambling area. Damn. Bro just got sent out of existence. <laughs> he didn't even get the death animation or anything. Bro just had a peace of mind and just disappeared. I now do see about what they mean about further range. It's just it was just worded weirdly to me. When it says further range, it means that you actually get a range increase. means that ability can't if the ability says further further up to like 12 meters that means you can you can use that ability within 12 meters i don't know why it's worded the way that it is it it just it just is Because right here it says to attack distance 12 meters away from the target. That is worded fucking weirdly, is it not? <laughs> that that doesn't make a lick of sense. But it's actually your attack gets increased to 12 meters away from the target. If, if I don't know why. They worded that way, but you know, they did. They they did with confidence too. That's the crazy part. Like, we're pure confidence they did it. But then again, maybe English isn't the first language. More than likely. Because isn't X Legend like. Isn't X Legend the. Uh, they either Taiwan? Are. Wait, are they inside? Wait a minute. Well, they're either Japanese or Chinese. It was either one of them. I, I, I've been thinking maybe they're more Chinese sided. I never looked into X Legend all that much. Oh, I'm already here. Might as well do it. Maybe one of you know. Ah, anywho. You. Don't run for me. They can only increase my basic attacks up to 12 meters, right? No, it seems like skills too. Timeless are done. I need ancients. Where are the orange? Leave the people at. Hello? Ah, there's one. They're along this path. I also see why I don't see a lot of 
range players. It's actually crazy how many, like, melee characters people use. I barely ever see any player play a range by choices. Damn it, Marlin. I have to go back to the main city again. <laughs> you little shit. Because <laughs> honestly, I never played Ranger by choice. I've seen a few Rangers, though. Which kind of threw me off guard. I was sitting here like, oh my god, a fellow Ranger. But out of this whole playthrough, I've only seen like two Rangers. I've mostly seen Paladins and... Berserkers. <laughs> Actually, every other class under the sun, except for wizards. I never see wizards. But after this uh, rework, I feel like that's going to desperately change. But then again, wizards... Well, yeah, wizards are mostly in a disadvantage most of the time in the game. For certain missions... I would say they are at a huge disadvantage from theater. If they want to do level 75 theater dungeon, they need good fucking luck. Because your damage is about to be severely nerfed. But then again, if you don't want theater or don't plan on doing theater just for those little extra all stat increase, for like, I guess, a few hours, then there's no re need to worry about that at all. I say, damn, our level hasn't went up all that much. Let me figure out where all my missions are. I could hit Marlin right now. So I guess we'll do, do that. While I figure out where these scales are. These scales are at the dragons that were up there. Okay, so. Enemies. Let's go see how many there are. Huh, I didn't think Lady of the Lake was a boss. Apparently it is. Apparently it is. Okay, they're they're pretty much all over the place. What the fuck? <laughs> Come here, Marla. Okay, Marlin quest done. Go back. But the New Year's event still going on. I didn't actually realize that. I thought that was over by now. Uh, I guess I should hit up the skill, dude, just to see what I can max right now. Yeah, this theater dungeon. Good luck with that. Theater dungeon is very, very, very difficult. Solo. <laughs> For certain classes, I will say that. For certain classes. And you'll get disrespected really easily with reflection damage. Because reflection damage is all over in there. Uh, Silent Predator is useless to take. So, uh, I guess I would... Certain things in here are not worth taking. 
My passive abilities are worth taking. I'd say rain is definitely worth taking. Fuck, and I'm out of gold. Well, well, uh huh, yep, uh huh. That's exactly how I saw it go down in my head. Is that I'm gonna have to sell a lot of stuff if I want, like, even remotely all of my skills. The thing I could do is if I can get some evil nucleus out of this, I think I could sell it for quite a bit, even though I need them. <laughs> So I'm going to go sell these uh, these leftover sprites I have for at least probably like 50. Or 40, that works too. This one's 50. What the 500? My brain. 50. I was about to say, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? <laughs> now, is that the crow mount? I've never seen people use that. Like, I've seen it idle, I've never seen it moving. That's the crazy part. This is supposed to be also be a hundred. Yes, a hundred, and somehow I'm slowly keeping up with it. Um, back to back to Gaia. Please don't give me any more quests out of there, outside of there, because I have barely any more <laughs> gold. That was crazy. Every day, eat eternal updates. That's that's insane to me. Like every single day, it's either, well, no, every like two or three days they update with something new. I said that's the only X Legend game I've seen update that much. But then again, I right now I think they're they have all of their old content, they're just trying to get it back in. So I guess it's being recoded. So this is basically starting from scratch for them. And I think they're also like changing and revamping some of the classes. Because I knew that I know they had to revamp the hell out of sh out of Shaman, because Shaman was busted as shit as soon as he got released. Like day one, ah, wrong wrong enemies. Like day one, Shaman literally started lagging the shit out of everyone, because I guess they didn't think about it thoroughly of how many totems you can place and people just started spamming the shit out of them and people there was some people doing it for fun too protectors ah protectors are the purple ones there was people there just sitting at the entrance of like dungeons spamming the shit out of totems trying to lag people out and they actually did crash some people So that that was fun. <laughs> I was just sitting here like, all right, you're not going to be able to do that to my PC. Because the PC I had at the time was my uh, streaming PC. I didn't have this PC. 
and I didn't, I didn't think they were gonna able to be able to crash it. They didn't. Until one time I put down mine by mistake because I fat fingered it and it crashed. <laughs> so I guess in a way they did. <laughs> I guess you're going to be the boss for that quest when I come back. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a fucking minute. Oh no, you're you're buck ton. I was about to say, wait a minute, dude. Why are you why are you inside of there? Where are you? It says you only have one location. Are you buck ton? Oh no, you're yeah, you're belt. Okay, come here. Now, I gotta go get the skelly dupes. The little dragons out of here. I also don't know why I read it in my head as crypto. Crypto dragons. <laughs> Dude, I'm ready to get scammed, apparently. <laughs> Wait, are you guys the one who have it? Let's see. Oh yeah, you guys are the ones who have it. I don't think the big ones have it. Let's see. Oh no, the big one have it too. All of you guys have it. Excuse me. Damn, that distance is absurd with that. A gray. Yeah. The last one. I like how the game just registered that enemy being way further. Because that skill shouldn't have worked at that distance. Now yeah, my last skill, please. Please. Okay, game. You're going to keep me hostage here again, aren't you? Don't do this. Okay, thank you. I was going to make up a lie and say I have a wife and family. <laughs> Maybe that'll guilt trip you into uh, letting me free. Maria. Okay, so Maria's not in this location. Maria is an Ilya.
Okay, so now we can kill uh, Buck. Okay, what was the point of that pathing? <laughs> this ability is actually strong because the enemies don't aggro on you even if you're attacking them for a little bit. I should use that a lot more, but his cooldown is way freaking long. It's a good boss starter, at least. It's a good way for your pet to get in, like, punches before you. And now we're seeing a slight increase in gold. I was about to say, is there another quest in here? Oh, wow. Those were two short quests. Thanks. Thanks for that. I totally love having short quests. I was kind of hoping I would be like a lot higher level at that point, but you know, hey, what tips, dude? What tips? Uh, I guess since we're closer to the portal, we'll go to Ilya and get that quest done. I'm guessing Lady of the Lake is literally just a mermaid. It just sounds like a very mermaidish type of creature that they would try and substitute We're gonna port back by the by the way because uh gold but we uh we're level 61 now we got a few more levels to go through hmm Hmm? Nightmare Court? No. No, we're not doing that right now. The fuck? No. Hell no, we're not touching that right now. Especially with all that reflect damage in there? No, no. No. Nope. That is an in-game thing for me, buddy. That is not happening. Okay. I guess we'll port. Nope, oh, there's... Oh, yep, Lady of the Lake. <laughs> I gotta figure... 
I thought she was a boss, but I was about to, I was thinking to myself, wait a minute. This isn't a pattern of a boss movement. I already have the next stages of my mastery table. Oh, it does have hate generate. Well, hate generate decrease. That's actually fantastic. Up, oh, what's this? What's this? Art of defense. So I have everything to where I can make my uh, first combo. I'm going to be interested to see what combos they come up with. Since the rework. Hopefully they're really good. Maiden to have the purple fence. And a stamp. Oh yeah, don't always like think that this is out of your range because the game is very weird about slopes and where you're standing because I could be right here and if this fucker would stop moving it could be a great example <laughs> now I could be like right here and this skill would actually work you guys have seen it once no, I guess for once it's going to be like, nah. Oh yeah, see, it was in red. It, It's not always accurate. Let's just say that. Just keep that in mind, it's not always accurate. If you ever play uh, any s skill that has, you know, an actual reticle. Or if you play a mage, because mage has a lot of those. Has a lot of skill placements. Pest control. Okay, that's a boss. Excuse me. What speed are we at now? Hey, whoa. Hey, no. Keep going. Okay, so we're about as fast as we would be in a dungeon. But by like 5% more.
ไม่ว่าวิธีทักกันแบบอ่าต่อฟักพอชันเฮลเปอร์ only works with small tasks like using potions please remove other commands bitch what other commands Okay, the the helper system is fucking drunk right now. Noted. Hey, buddy. How are you? I guess that only works before you attack, huh? <laughs> I guess that is the last quest of this area. Damn, are we on par? Back up to the um, outer class? I think we are. We are literally back on level. All we're up... Yeah, we're just up by like two levels. Did you just shock me, you little shit? How dare you? We're slowly losing that uh, level lead. Everything's slowly catching up to us. Hmm. That's when we're up there. We can use the altar as well. Because it's time to start getting rid of these sprites. And basically, when I get rid of the sprites, I go farm new ones. I could stay out of dungeons for a while. I could. Oh, wait, no, we still have more quests. Jesus. I thought, I thought we were done. That's what I get for thinking. Thinking ahead of myself, man. But then again, around this time is the part where I would be inside of the dungeon, actually. So I think that's why 
is catching up as well. I also have to think about that. Because normally in a dungeon I would level up twice. And the worm, other worms are, damn, all the way back here. Okay. Ah, three of them right there. So by the time I get done with this and hit the next area, well, hit the dungeon, I should be like one, yeah, I should level up once in that dungeon at least. But the best thing I want is twice. I want to stay ahead of the outer side area. Just so I can feel like I'm getting the most out of my XP. <laughs> Every other quest has gone gray. So yeah, the game definitely knows I'm done with this area. <laughs> oh my god, hold up. How much XP was that? Oh, 7 mil. This should level me then, right? Because that's a crazy amount of XP. It would be random if it just went down afterwards. Um, sir? I was to say, don't you dare reset again. His AI just kind of bugged out just a little bit. Just, just, just a tad. Just, just a little bit. <laughs>
Hello, good sir. Fuck yes. Can you not? Oh. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. This starts now? I did not know that. Okay, it starts at level... 66. So, Kazlo's journey actually starts up pretty damn early. Didn't didn't think that was a thing. Okay, well then. Uh, let's hit this altar and get rid of these sprites. So, yeah, I just realized, wait a fucking minute. Wait, wait a minute. Um, it did not send me to a new actual area. <laughs> Okay, no, it told me to go to the Moonlight Altar. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I'm supposed to be reading. This one. Man, if you can get away from me, because I know you're going to start a fight, like, go away. Okay, so that only gave me 900. That only gave me 900. What's the, what's the actual... Everything is maxed. Well, not every single thing, but most mostly everything is max. Yeah, that gave me 900. So it was better to level up the starter sprites. Like the level 11 sprites. Oh, I got... A guy, guy's last hope quest. Well, title. I never got that. I like the name of it, but I can't use it. Um. Okay. So I guess we leave. Because I'm curious about this. Because we're going to go do these next. Uh, this we can turn off because this is a several stage quest. And it goes back down in here. Still haven't figured out where to how this quest is actually.
But I do want to visit Kaz Kazlau first. That's going to give me the whole chain quest. Should I even do this right now? Probably not, right? Probably should wait until I... Uh, the next <laughs> video that's why I at least feel but I'm curious Curious if this sends me to the next area that I need to be. I guess this is gonna send me to yeah jail. Wait, what was that pathing? Why did you loop around? Okay. Why do I keep asking these questions to stop? Just don't think about it. I mean, eh, it's easy gold so far, which is nice. shit you just like to let me down with your bad events blue bit you son of a I'm gonna hurt you game I swear to god I'm gonna hurt you it's like what what the actual Hey, can you teleport me to blue? Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. 
They could teleport me to Blue Bay. No, okay. <sighs> really trying to test my freaking patience, huh, game? I used to have a little bit more stamina. Go do that. Since you failed. Well, good thing it's in front of the the woman that gives us a free ride back. God damn! You guys ever seen sun glare like that? <laughs> now that'll wake you up. All right, so. I guess after we see what this does. Because if I remember correctly, Distant Cry is a five chain quest. Okay. That all I got was time traveler out of that. Wait, don't I already have time traveling? Yeah, I already have time traveling. What the? So, okay. Well, I guess free teleport. Also free gold for doing nothing. So I guess that worked out in my favor. I the fuck? Anywho. <laughs> now I I think it's one of these places that will take me. I think it's this person that'll take me to the next area. Which I believe is down here. Actually, by that thought, shouldn't the teleport open up? I think the teleport should open up for that area since I just got to level uh, 62. Oh my god, you fell twice. I hate you. Yep, it opened. Okay, good, 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 good. God. So I could just teleport there. But we have ancient to do next video. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and teleport here. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to go get mentally prepared with a nap for, uh, excuse me, for ancient city. Wait, it said grassland. Yeah, that's what I thought. It wasn't in moonlight. It was actually in... Oh, I read the wrong quest. That's what it was. Oops. I just could have touched on that as I was there. Okay, though, so this is going to give me two... No. Molt of the goddamn. I'll take it. Three quests to do, huh?
Well, I guess I can go ahead and head on there, but yeah. I'll just be sitting outside the dungeon at, at best. This has been actually, like, very fun to do now. Now that we're actually almost a sharpshooter. At this point, it would be up to you guys once I do touch, touch sharpshooter and actually start getting some of the skills and testing it out to see if you guys want to see more. So when that video does come and I ask, would you guys, well, I'll probably put in like a poll to see if you guys want me to actually continue it. Continue the playthrough. Once we touch sharpshooter. And the poll will basically speak for itself. And if I change to the next game I have planned, which is Power World, then to the next game I have planned towards the end of the month, which is Grand Blue Fantasy. Or I could just knock it all out before those even uh, come up, to be honest. Wait a minute, where was Ancient? Why did I forget where Ancient was? Sprite, Sprite Force. There it is. But yeah, the poll will basically decide on what I shall do. And if people want to see more, I will do a series all the way up to uh, Predator. Then once we get to level 100, that series will probably end more than likely. Who knows? Or once we get to the end of the main quests for all the areas. It'll probably end. But I'm pretty sure by the time we get to like all the areas of the current like content we have, I should be level 100. If this is on should be, not 100% sure. But we'll see. You will definitely see. I thought that was a frog at first, not a fox. I was about to say, wait a minute, where did that NPC come from? I've never seen a frog in this game. Then again, I, I don't think we're ever going to see a new model in this game. Yeah, because a lot of these are reused. I'm going to hate this boss because I, I heard it. It has pure reflection. An annoying gimmick to it. Oh, it also has a title. Let's see. Physical and mana pierce. And physical and mana pierce a reduction, evasion, and movement speed. Okay, that's not too bad. But anywho, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I will see you guys on the next one. And to them, um... Peace out. Have a good one. Time is the reason why we fight to stay up.